Hello Lego fans, after a long hiatus, I am back, sort of, uh, to give you a Lego City update. And um, quite a few things have changed uh, if you watched the last Lego City update video. So we're going to run through those things and then afterwards uh, turn the trains on because the track layout has also changed a little bit. So uh, going left to right as usual, you may see this new siding. And uh, this kind of splits off of the, the main line there. And um, I designed that mainly to give me some more space. I have a little bit of rock work that I put in there. Um, would like to put some more so that we can't we don't see the the wood from the table and stuff like that um, not completely sold about how it matches up and so I may get rid of it entirely uh, just because I kind of don't like how that's clipping the corner there um, but I'm not sure what what I'll be able to do about that exactly and you may see two modular buildings so I got the downtown diner uh, for Chris, no, not for Christmas. And I got that in August, actually. And um, shortly thereafter, I bought the Corner Garage and recently built it. And I thought that those two fit pretty well together. They're kind of 50s, you know, uh, old American kind of themed uh, buildings. And so I thought they looked really good together. Now the diner had moved forward about eight studs because I didn't like the way it was placed on the base plate. Love the building, but it was placed a little too far back. And so I moved it eight studs forward. So it's got a little bit of an alley uh, behind it, which can fit some cars. And I thought that was kind of neat, you know, put an alley behind the diner. And it also ends up matching up perfectly with the back door to the garage. So even though this isn't, you know, naturally visible because it's kind of backwards facing I can still take some you know some neat pictures there have a little you know abandoned car behind an alley kind of a thing and then um, the corner garage I did not modify at all the only thing I modified was I kind of extended the lines the painted lines uh, to make it more of a corner corner gas station feel and I also kind of think that it's you know far enough away from the street corner there that you could probably put a car on either side. Um, I just put the Superbird there, or the Daytona rather, because uh, kind of an old timey car, uh, Mini Cooper, and I parked the tow truck uh, next to it. And then uh, moving over to this side, um, we got this old uh, bank building. I don't remember if I showed this off in the last video or not. I don't believe I had it made, um, but it doesn't have an interior. It's just kind of a just kind of a plain building and I decided to make it a bank because uh, a friend of mine came to visit from Tucson and he's like you know that kind of looks like a bank and I was like oh yeah you're right so I think I will make that a floor taller and you know put some more detail into it uh, the sanctorum got some little planters out front and let's see moving on down what else has changed you may see that I found the Horizon train, or the TGV, if you know this train from France, where it originates. And um, I have retrofitted this with the newer uh, Bluetooth uh, you know, battery pack and motor. Um, so it works really well. The track is the same, but yeah, I added the Horizon train. I think it has a little bit more personality than the, the train I had there before. And I have started uh, putting just more flooring and ground back here for the Avengers Tower. Um, I'm thinking about changing it still because um, I'm still not sold on it, but at least I have some of the table covered up with base plates. And the police station, uh, which doesn't have an interior yet, but it has grown an extra floor. So there's now four, four floors and obviously I moved it. It was down where the corner garage is and now it's down here. And I also added uh, to the roof a bat signal, which is awesome when the lights are are kind of you know dimmer. Um, so yeah, I need to need to finish off that police station, and I think now that I have it where I where I really want it, I, I should expand that garage 
so that it holds more than one police car. And then kind of the, probably the biggest change is the fact that the rail yard is now over twice the size that it was. So the sidings were a little uh, janky before they came in at weird angles. I got a couple more switched tracks. And so that siding is nice and straight. That one's straight. That one's at an angle um, because I cannot extend it anymore that way or else it will hit the door and I will not be able to come into my Lego room at all. Um, so the sidings, um, they're nice and straight now. You could put more than just one car on them. Um, I was able to find the Maersk uh, train on eBay and I got an extra sticker f set for it. And so I started, uh, uh, I made another, made another refrigerated container. So the set normally comes with two gray containers and a white one, and now I have two white ones. So I can double up the, uh, the flatbed or, you know, just have an extra to keep on the truck. The rail yard is a little bare. I just kind of have some people and some forklifts kind of just haphazardly around. Um, so I need to add some more stuff out here so it's not just gray base plates. Um, so I'm looking into doing that. Um, not sure what I'm going to do yet. Uh, but over on this side of the rail yard, I did uh, decide to put a row of lamps. And I think they, they kind of help to make it look you know, a little more industrial. And so I think I might do that for all the sidings. Just put a bunch of really tall uh, lamps and then just kind of go for the go from there try to populate the the empty space and um, So yeah, three three sidings total over here and a, and just this little one uh, water tower so uh, Yeah, we'll uh, We'll uh, go through some of the uh, some of the trains and um well, we've already talked about the Horizon Express, so we'll take, uh, we'll just go go from this way. Now, I had this train on here last time. I have modified it, and it does not have the motor in it anymore. So what I'm doing um, with the 9-volt trains is the boxcar here actually has both 9-volt motors in it. And the reason why I did that is so that I can just change out whatever locomotive I want and not worry about whether or not it's powered or whether or not it has the right type of motor for the nine volt track. So if I wanna use you know, the Burlington Northern, I just swap the two. Or if I wanna use uh, one of the ones over there, just swap them out. So for my nine volt train, I decided to have the power be from that box car, which is nice and generic. And unless you see the metal wheels or looking for them, you don't know that that's the power source. And um, you know, for this train, I thought that the, you know, the green locomotive, the red boxcar, the white octane tanker kind of, they kind of tie together pretty well. Um, and that's pretty much all that's new with the main train. So I'm actually going to switch the layout up a little bit and then, and then we'll, we'll run those. Uh, and then this one over here, let's move the train out of the way. This I had last time, this crane car, um, that I modified from the latest uh, LEGO Freight set. And so, to go with it, I built this, uh, this GE locomotive. And it is obviously, uh, has the CSX livery. And um, this is powered by the infrared, or not the infrared, the, um, the Bluetooth motor. Um, so you just take off the, uh, the top here. Under, underneath this row of, of plates there is, is where the battery box is. So I need to change it so it's a little more convenient to get to, but it does work. And um, so I just kind of have it in the siding, but um, yeah, we could, we could have this one pull the train. I don't know if it's as powerful as two nine volt motors. And then the, uh, the Maersk train is, uh, can be powered by a motor, but it is currently not. It is currently just, um, just free really no no battery box no motor so i'm going to switch the configuration of my trains around and then uh, we'll just watch them uh, go around the city so here's the trains running 
And as you can see, the Horizon train has no problem on the elevated track. And put the Maersk train at the lead, taking a couple cars out. And uh, it looks pretty good. This is the first time I've run the Maersk train around my city. And uh, I like the look of it. And I put the um, put the green uh, six axle and the octane car over there. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, got some more things that I want to tweak and change. Uh, trying to figure out how best to use the space that I have. And I may end up uh, making some kind of secondary city over here where I have all this mess uh, going on. i got to organize that. Uh, but yeah, for now, this is just uh, how it is. So thanks guys for watching this video and I hope that you have a great day. I'll see you later.